In a previous video, we looked at the day trades column and how this column can identify the best candidates if you are a day trader. Now we're going to look at uh, the swing trades column and here also you can click on the swing trades and it will sort it uh, according to the various states that you know the states are very bullish, they are very bearish and then you have neutral and then you also have some in between states like bearish and bullish. So the big difference between the swing trading and the day trading columns is the algorithm takes into consideration a much longer time frame for the swing trades because in, in the case of swing trades you could be in the trade for maybe a week or two or even more. So anywhere from a week to about four weeks is what a general swing trade would be and the whole goal of swing trading is you want you would want to catch the lows uh, somewhere the lows obviously it's not possible to catch the exact low but if you catch some you know, something over here and you can ride it up for a few days, maybe a couple of weeks and then take off the trades. Now, most people who especially who have a job during market hours, they would obviously prefer the swing trading environment. Once again, these uh, columns are, are very powerful because they act as scanners. Here it tells you, you can put whatever stocks you're trading on this watch list and it tells you which one is very bullish. So let's take a look at Goldman Sachs. It is bullish. And you can see over the last uh, two or three weeks, it's been going up. It's consolidating a little bit here. And again, we'll get into these indicators, the multi time frame trend, as well as the custom RSI in future videos. What we want to do here is just to be able to identify uh, what are the good swing trades. If you see this master indicator here lined up, that means the stock is bullish on various time frames. So I'll get into these on a separate video on the multi time frame trend. But once you've identified the stock, you can see that you could have ridden this all the way from here, which is about 326. Uh, you could have ridden it to about the 355, 360 level, and it is still at that level. And we still don't have a very bearish condition. So you, you might still be in this trade after a couple of weeks. So let's take a look at uh, PayPal. PayPal is also showing bullish on the swing trading environment. So which would be a week or two. So you can see that the chart here for the swing trading environment is a daily chart. So each bar is one day of price action. And that's what you would want to look at. You're probably doing this analysis after market hours and deciding the, what trade to take the next morning. And so this column becomes very, very helpful in that situation because it identifies to you which stocks are very bullish or which stocks are very bearish depending on what the market sentiment is you would want to take the trade in alignment with the overall market sentiment so here we see paypal is also bullish what about caterpillar there we go caterpillar is, has been on a lovely run for a long time and here we have airbnb also uh, has been on a lovely run for at least a month uh, bank of america uh, not about a month but at least in the recent uh, few days uh, Boeing, uh, Boeing has been on a solid run here. You can see it's been going on for a couple of months. If you don't count uh, some of these uh, consolidation patterns, it's been going on for a couple of months. Uh, JP Morgan is also uh, bullish, a very similar chart to uh, uh, Boeing here. Uh, Wells Fargo, once again, Wells Fargo has been bullish right here. Gold, gold has been bullish also. You can see this is a nice looking chart. So. That's how you would want to identify what are the good candidates for a swing trade. Now, in the next video, we'll get to step two. So the step one was you want to identify the right trading candidates. So whether it's day trades or swing trades, we know we can do that. Now, the next step is to get the right entry and you want to get an opportunistic entry. And that's where this multi time frame trend indicator comes. This is a very, very powerful and flexible indicator and it works for all time frames and we'll be getting into that in the next video. Thanks.